likes, which... Uh, in their second appearance before the Public Investments Committee, Kenya Airports Authority KAA officials led by Managing Director John Anderson were at pains to address various concerns raised by the committee, including just who between the ministry and Kenya Airways initiated the proposal, the direct award of 150 million shillings transaction advisory tender, and the capacity of the struggling airline to take over the operations of Kenya's main airport. The perception of the urgency came through the ministry, <coughs> came through meetings with the ministry. Are there, are there any, any documents? Who, who in particular in the ministry? We are talking about uh, Koimat, P.S. Koimat. P.S. Koimat is the, is the one who sat with you in the, in, the, in, the, in the ministry and told you that they need this to be finalized within months as quickly as possible, as soon as possible, yes. The committee also questioned the possibility of a conflict of interest as Isaac Awondo, the KAA chairman, is also the group chief executive officer of Commercial Bank of Africa, which will soon be merged with NIC Bank. Both banks owe KQ more than 5 billion shillings. Dissatisfied by KAA's responses, the committee recommended that the transaction be put on hold until it concludes investigations and the Auditor General probes and reports on the nitty-gritty details of the controversial deal. The committee will also summon officials from the Transport Ministry, including Principal Secretary Esther Koimet. Who authored the whole concept? Uh, one, that is still not clear. Two. Uh, the proposal did not come from Kenya Air Airport Authority, it came from Kenya Airways. Uh, three, the uh, way that they picked up the transaction advisor. Every single uh, uh, board minute paper that is there, there have been indications, and even the PIP and letters from Kenya Airways as well, there have been ind indications that they were really trying to rush it. And we don't understand why the rush. If approved by Parliament, today's proposal by the Parliamentary Investments Committee will deal a major blow to the implementation of the proposed merger, which was expected to be concluded by mid this year. Victor Kiprop, NTV Business, Parliament Buildings.